What happens during each phase? How do people get affected? Why do some people succeed while others fail? Why are some people preferred while others rejected, irrespective of talent, work, tardiness or ethics? It's quite simple, really. If you know astrology or have seen the natal chart, you know, the circular one with weird symbols, planets at different points on the circle, you know the natal chart is like a fingerprint. It's unique to every individual. While Uranus, Neptune and Pluto don't move so fast from the perspective of an Earthling, other planets do. The Sun moves by approximately a degree a day while the Moon much more than that. The remaining planets move slower depending on how far they are from us, with Pluto being the farthest and hence the slowest and most powerful. So, all this paints a very pretty and interesting picture. At the moment you were born all the planets, on Sun and Moon, generally called planets as well, were at different points in the sky, hence your natal chart, which shows the exact degree and minute of the sign each planet was was at. Pluto's movement affects the planets in your chart, depending on the angles made to them. Degree I came upon this realization as I realized that this is how all astrological transits work, conjunct, sextile, square, trine, opposite, trine, square, sextile, conjunct. Repeat forever. Trine, 120 degrees is the most beneficial aspect. The first trine seemed more powerful because it's leaving a square, not leading to it. Give it an orb of 15 degrees, the halfway point of any sign, apply it to the most powerful planet in astrology, Pluto, and voila, the most powerful point in the sky. Pluto minus 135 degrees. This point was in Leo from 2316. It resulted in the glorification of power, success and money. The shallowness, spinelessness and deceitfulness of people. The self-aggrandizement on the internet. The giving up of personal values for money and success. The stepping over others for personal gain. The lies and scams on a massive scale. The massive and prevalent abuse of power. The glorification of human appearance and possessions. The blatant widespread and unchecked practice and general acceptance of racism. The unquestioning reverence to and admiration of powerful and successful people. The list goes on. By the end of the Leo phase humongous and all pervasive lies cannot stand of their own accord anymore, fall down and get crushed under their own weight. Before this was the softer cancer phase. Beautiful movies and homely sitcoms ruled our minds and hearts. Family was everything. Family activities were everything. People loved mystery, intrigue and secrets. Music and food were interchangeable. So, to get to my point, this is what makes your life different from that of another person. If it's the Leo phase, 2316, and you have no Leo planets, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble if you don't have planets in the two allies of Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, either. It's especially difficult if you have major planets like Sun or Moon or maybe a bunch of the other planets in Square, perpetually at war with Leo, as in 90 degree apart from Leo, which are the signs Taurus and Scorpio. Or even an opposition, as in the sign opposite Leo, which is the sign Aquarius. So, that's basically it. Why one person's life is so different from another's. It is a particular phase, Leo in 2316, and you either have planets in beneficial signs or you don't. But not to worry as it all passes eventually and the next phase will roll out. The people who rule over you now will have their luck lessened or extinguished entirely, eventually, depending on their natal planet's positions. Besides, Midpoints of planets, as in if you have Sun in Cancer and Moon in Virgo your Sun-Moon midpoint will be in the middle sign, i.e., Leo can also be of some help even if you have no planets in Leo or its allies, Aries and Sagittarius, during the Leo phase. For those who think Pluto is not a planet, well, no, 
but it's a binary system with moons in such and in astrology the whole system makes up one point in the sky as it is viewed from the earth and serves well enough from an astrological standpoint.